personal trainer and nutritionist and today I have a no equipment ballet inspired leg and booty toning workout. So it begins with a warm up, we'll do the workout itself, then we have cool down stretches when we're done. But before I begin, I have an inspirational phrase. It says, when a needle falls into a well, many will look down into the well, but few go after it. And in the instance or pertaining to fitness, what this means is that many people will wish or hope for a certain aesthetic, but not many are willing to do the work that it takes to get there. They think that people are just lucky, that they have good genetics, um, and although there are you know, people that use steroids and people who sometimes are blessed with good genetics, that doesn't mean that that's how you get there. It comes from eating healthy, exercising, working hard, being patient and consistent, and even though every person's body is different and it takes a different amount of work and um, things that you have to do, like eating healthy, certain people have to eat different ways to get there, it still is obtainable for every person to get what they want and you have to be willing to do the work to get there. It is not enough to just hope for it. So that being said, we'll get right into our warm up. The first thing that we have is a hip cradle and it's going to open up the hip and it's going to challenge your balance. So you're going to stand on one leg and then you're going to grab your other leg and pull up. So we're going to hold. After a brief pause, switch sides. The next and last part of our warm up is called a ham swoop and it's going to stretch the back of the leg. So you're going to extend one leg with the toe pointed towards the sky. You can bend your other leg as you swoop down like you're taking off a really big boot. So we're going to do five on each side. Once you've done five, switch. And then we're ready to start the actual workout. The first thing that we have is a plie to a side out. This is going to mainly work the inner and outer thigh as well as the gluteus maximus or the biggest bubbliest part of the butt. So we're going to do the plie and side out alternating sides for 12. So let's begin. exercise is an arabesque with a leg swing. It's going to challenge your balance and it's going to work the hamstrings and the main part of the glute as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to kick back at the top of the lift. You want to contract your glute and then you're going to release, swing your leg and then start again. So we're going to do 10 on each leg. Once you've done 10, switch.
to our next exercise, which is a knee lift to a toe point. So you're going to lift your knee and then point. That is one, and we're going to do ten on each side. Once you've done 10, switch. Then we're going to travel to the floor. You're going to get into a prone position, and from here you're going to curl your legs and then squeeze up. This is going to work the hamstrings and the main part of the glute, so we're going to do that for 10. And we have one more exercise in this prone position. So here you're going to do a prone leg lift. So you're going to squeeze up, and this is going to work the hamstring and the main part of the glute. We're going to do 10 on each side. Once you've done 10, switch. for the cool down. So what you're going to do is a curtsy and a knee lift. We're going to do eight on each side. So let's begin. to our cool down stretches. So we're going to travel to the floor. And the first thing we have is a basic set of ballet stretches. So you're going to sit with your legs in a wide V. And first you're going to lean down towards one leg. This is going to stretch the inner thigh, the hamstring, and you might feel a stretch in your lower back. Come to center. And then finally your other leg. And our next stretch is an intense western hip stretch. So you're going to lay on your side. You're going to bring this top leg up. And if you want, you can lace your fingers to pull it up closer to you. You should feel a good stretch on the outside of your hip. And then after a brief pause, to the sides.
And that concludes our No Equipment Ballet Inspired Legs and Booty Workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out more of my other videos on YouTube under Wellness by Elizabeth. And like, subscribe, and share.